Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about what separates the Kettlebell Halo from the Mace 360. This is based on viewer questions. People wanted to know what is the difference and why you would do a Kettlebell Halo and why you would do a Mace 360. The Kettlebell Halo and the Mace 360 are in the same family of movement. They are in what we call the shield cast family of movement. The kettlebell halo, single direction, multi-direction, the heavy club shield cast, single direction, multi-direction, and the mace 360 are all essentially the same movement. The difference is the length of the lever. Humans should be good at swinging levers because we have thumbs. That allows us to use tools and that allows us to use weapons throughout all of human history. Without thumbs and an ability for our shoulder to swing levers, humanity simply would not exist. With a kettlebell, the length of the lever is from the top of your hand to the top of the bell. That's about seven inches with a competition adjustable kettlebell. It can be shorter if it's a hard style bell. The length of a lever on a mace is obviously much, much longer. This one's nearly three feet. The longer the lever, the more force that weight puts down, the more you have to learn to control the lever. When you do a kettlebell halo, you can do it just as an arm exercise. When you do it with a mace, you will be forced to learn to rotate more and rotate better and rotate equally on both sides. Think about the kettlebell halo as a bridge exercise, which is meant to get you to two-handed heavy club shield cast, which is meant to get you to mace 360s. You can make longer and longer maces. You could make a 10 foot long mace and stand on a 10 foot tall box. That just doesn't seem to be super useful because it's not very portable. This is about the ideal size for a mace because you can carry it around and it's about the length of an ax or a pickaxe or anything that you might reasonably use. If you can do a kettlebell halo, it does not mean you have the joint control or the stabilizing muscle structure to do a mace 360. But the opposite is true. If you use a longer lever, then your tendons, your ligaments, and your muscles adapt differently to the length of the lever. If you learn to use a long lever, then using short levers is easier. With a short lever, like on a kettlebell, you can get away with heavier weights but you can get away with less good technique. The longer the lever, the better your technique has to get. So think of a kettlebell halo as a bridge exercise. Short lever, heavy weight, learn to put your elbow in the correct spot, build towards a Mace 360. The main goal with a Mace 360 is to be able to do 10 minutes without letting the mace touch the ground. That is a basic human drill, and it's getting us out of the idea of doing gym stuff, of doing, say, three sets of 10. You can do mace 360s and rack it up in weight and treat it as a strength exercise, but humans are endurance monsters, and we are tool-using endurance monsters, so you should emphasize that in your training.